Thank you so much for joining us today, Ignacio. Uh, maybe yes, before to before talking about Bondex, I don't know if you want to introduce yourself in a in a few words. Yes, I'll just talk quickly about my journey so far into uh, you know going from traditional finance to now fighting for the freedom of the internet, uh, like all of you, in one way or another. But um, yeah, I'm originally from Spain. I've been living in the UK and the US for the last 15 years. I uh, originally started out as an investment banker in M&A in banking and fintech. That's how I discovered crypto for the first time and decided that that was the future. And that's where I wanted my career to go. I then did some private equity in tech. But in this last bull run, I realized that Web3 principles were a great lever to disrupt the world of talent, which in its current form screws everyone involved in it, the employers, the recruiters, and especially the users and talent. And that's how you, you start working on Bondex. That's right. It's actually my second iteration of the company. The first one was meant to be um, a freelancer marketplace for on Web3, similar to what you have in Brain Trust today. It was called Expert Network. The bear market came in 2017, 2018. We pivoted to AI and we focused on an algorithm that matched resumes to opportunities. Basically, just doing basic filtering that takes a lot of time uh, from recruiters. And that's where I learned about all the pitfalls of the recruitment market today, which is a middleman ridden, overpriced, inefficient process for everyone involved. And when I saw the last bull cycle, um, I saw that the jobs market in Web3 was getting very hot. And I also saw the institutional adoption was coming and I thought it was the perfect time to actually launch and build what I like to think of as a Web3 LinkedIn killer. Awesome, yeah. So we, we have many community advocates and, and developer experts. So members active in the community and some of them uh not most of them but some of them are interested into joining web3 uh and yeah i think it's a great opportunity for them to be connected with you so we we met each other a few weeks back now uh because you joined the build program i don't know if you want to talk a little bit about the connection you had with channeling and this program so you know throughout our our, our journey which is now a year and a half two years a lot of protocols and ecosystems approached us you know, with incentives, you need to build here, you need to build there. But um, I quickly realized, we quickly realized that they're all very political against each other, right? And the moment you are a Solana project or your Polygon project, you're viewed as that. And that represents yourself as sort of an adversary to other ones. If Bondex is to succeed to become the hub for talent and career advancement and education in Web3, it needs to be a multi-chain and multi-ecosystem effort. And Chainlink serves as the glue for the entire industry. If you're a successful protocol or ecosystem, you have to use Chainlink. So we went with Chainlink and the Chainlink build program because we view them as the perfect distribution method while you remain neutral in terms of, you know, what I would consider the political views in Web3, which I think are very strong. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's difficult to select a chain and hope that they're a good one. So going... Cross chain, that's that the plan, and that's how uh, Chainlink supports many projects uh, and Bondex for sure. Um, I think Chainlink is in the perfect position to view who's a successful protocol and who's not. They they kind of see the full chessboard. That's also another reason why we felt the Chainlink build program was a perfect home for us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for the great feedback. It's always cool to see that uh, users are happy with the services that we we provide. So I, I know that you have a demo uh, to share with the with the community members. I don't know if you if you want to share more about Bondex first. I'll, I'll share the idea of Bondex at a high level and then I'll go over the product, uh, which we, we have two at the moment in the market. One is a mobile app. The other one is a web-based job portal. But um, just as a thesis to what Bondex is, um, the, the key to it is that traditional professional networks and talent platforms have a key misalignment of incentives. Uh, getting talent, acquiring talent, getting the right person to work at your company is actually a supply constrained market. It's very hard to find. It's, the, it's, a, it's a secret ingredient to any organization in any stage, in any industry. But for some reason, all Web2 talent platforms to date have only focused on the experience and the incentives on the demand side of the market. That's the employers who pay premium subscriptions, advertisements, or recruiters who get paid 20 to 30% of someone's yearly salary to do that matchmaking. Now, by neglecting the people who actually bring value to the talent network, which are the users and the talent, what you get is the lowest engagement out of any social network is LinkedIn. Furthermore, it's got the fastest decaying data, meaning most of the data on this platform is obsolete because there's no sticky and engage and, and sticking, stickiness, basically, 
for you to stay around after you've gotten a job. So it's fundamentally flawed. How Web3 can change that is by empowering the user and the talent. We do so through gamification and tokenization, by empowering them with them providing their valuable professional data and positive behaviors like networking, validating the skills and credentials. They will build their reputation and therefore help the network and have an upside in its success. So that's number one, shifting basically incentives and experience away from demand to empower users and the talent. So that's number one thesis of Bondex. Number two, it's not just enough to tokenize a Web2 social network or platform like a LinkedIn and release it to the world and just think incentives are going to solve everything. In order to actually create better hiring, we look back at what were the best tools that HR and our teams used when building teams in our previous professional lives, right? And in the case of us in Goldman and Amazon and Google, it was referral programs. Referral programs incentivize current employers to introduce people within their network to open positions for a financial reward. They vary, right? Uh, widely across different companies. These referral programs are the most powerful tool. They're the holy grail of recruitment. They're the secret that only HR professionals at companies know. And even they have sometimes trouble incentivizing and getting the word out to their own employees properly. But the stats don't lie. 7% of candidates uh, in funnels for large companies come from referral programs. So only 7%, but they account for half of the hiring. Almost 47% on average of hiring happens through referrals. That trust mechanism of having someone recommend them puts them at the top of the pile is usually a better cultural match. And not just that, it reduces cost and time massively for the company time to hire. So we decided that we were going to externalize this and completely change the game. So by using Web3 principles, we created the concept of bounties. Bounties help crowdsource referrals from the users of the network, who sometimes are professional recruiters. And that enables a cheap, high quality funnel of candidates for the companies to hire faster and cheaper. And on the other side of the market, it democratizes hiring fees so that everyone can monetize their network, not like Web2 in which you are the product, your data is a product, your social graphs a product. Now you can monetize your network and recruiters who actually provide a crucial function in the exchange of talent no longer have to be subject to the agencies who they normally give 90% away of the fees that they earn to on a larger agency basis. So based on this, and that's kind of the high level explanation, let me just show you the products we have and give you a few invitations to them. Okay, so this was our first product and um, let me minimize this. This was our first product. So we released this um, as a beta mobile app and we did it for two reasons. One, we wanted to do a paint to door test. Would there be demand for a Web3 professional network? It helped us achieve community market fit and bootstrap the early users of the network to release product with. Since we released this in August, 2021, we've never spent a cent on paid advertising, but the gamified viral loops have propelled us to have over 3.5 million downloads of the app and currently about 300,000 daily active users and over half a million or 700,000 monthly active users. This level of engagement and retention is unbelievable compared to traditional apps, especially when you look at talent or consider more on the boring side. They're more like gaming apps and gaming apps retention. So how does it work? First of all, this is not tokens. They're not tokens. The bond points are meant to equal your reputation. You build your reputation and it's meant to equal a premium currency like a video game. We got inspired by Roblox, actually. In order for you to have a mobile app in the App Store, you can't be fully tokenized. They usually only like wallets or exchanges, but they sort of were missing out on, you know, getting their 30% take rate. So we did this pivot in which we designed a dual token design with a premium currency powered in the app that doesn't leave, that equals your reputation. And then you use your reputation, you spend it to advance your career education and access economic opportunities. The way that it works is the gamification tracks how robust your professional identity is, as well as the size of your network. Eventually, it will also reward you verifying your skills and credentials. And we're already working with partners like Open Campus, which is a proof of education protocol. And we're gonna be working with two work and other providers so that basically your resume is fully validated, much more transparent and trusted layer of talent infrastructure. And the other part is your size of your network and you inviting your friends. This is what really gives you your rating. And then you gotta come in every day and be engaged. We have lots of content that you can see in our notifications from webinars to, um, you know, how to, uh, you know, announcements about us joining the build program or a, a basically a tutorial on how to be, do the best resume. We have lots of content uh, to share. 
And the other one is again, sharing your with your friends, which you can easily do here. And you can invite your friend with your QR code on your app. I'm gonna copy this real quick and go back to the chat to invite all of you to join me in my network. And then the more friends that you invite, the higher that your ranking goes and the more bond points you can earn. Um, this is easily done like this. Also your profile. It's very important that you follow all of the steps to build a great profile. It's, you know, complete with this bio, aggregation of relevant links, your job preferences, skills, experience, and your resume. And what we released right before the Christmas break was jobs. We're doing a closed beta with a closed amount of companies, mm. uh, space time, ready games, blockchain.com, crypto banter, and they post bounties with these job referrals. Now, when you see these job referrals on the app, you can either, you know, it's got all the belts and whistles, very intuitive experience, and letting you in on a little secret, this hiring process here, right now, that bounty goes to the successful person that acted as a recruiter and recommended someone that got hired. In our second iteration of the product, we're going to be splitting 10% of the bounty to anyone that recommended someone that made it to the final stages. So if your candidate got to meet the CEO, maybe you make $100. Really democratizing even further this hiring fees. Then you get here, you can either apply your job using your own professional profile. And again, a use case for your reputation is that you can use it to boost your application, showing your commitment to the process. And the other part is referring to the job, which is done here and also cost a bond point. You can sign as talent in the, the job, the mobile app is meant for the talent and the users and what you'll see now is that our job portal which is here and by the way you can also track your referrals here and how they're doing i don't have any i haven't made any yet so they're not here but you can also track your referrals here and how they're doing the idea is that anyone can monetize their network think about it like a uber for headhunting and recruitment in the beginning uber just had professional black cab drivers kind of drive around their cars and monetize their know-how about driving and their resources eventually lyft came around and uber wanted to compete and anyone with a car started monetizing their skills in time we want to serve the same purpose applying those gig economy Economy principles to the recruitment industry because actually your network is incredibly valuable and right now this web2 companies are exploiting it for you this is the other product we've recently released this is the web version we see employers and recruiters using the web more than the mobile app so you can see here you can search company titles or jobs or what type of job you want all the belts and whistles on the filters here or here on the left or if you're recruiting to earn because you want to make some of these referral bounties which as you can see here some of them are quite juicy eight to ten k 5k depends on the role the geography you can just filter it and only go for these bounties and again you can see here this face and time one so here is where it gets interesting right you can sign up as a recruiter you would get 10 bond points and you could use 10 bond points for making essentially 10 recommendations until you run out and then you can talk to us the more you perform the better now i'm gonna go even a little bit further to showcase a bit of the demo so we're back here this is actually another one of our um beta companies which is decentraland so you can apply directly or you refer someone to the job so when you refer someone to the job, you input their name, you write something about why you actually think they would be good for the role, and you're putting one of your reputational points on the line. Why is this important? Why is it important that now we're putting something on the line? It's a disincentive for spam. Web2 social networks are a zero-sum game. That's why you just end up with a bunch of noise. We want to create a more ethical form of networking in which you're kind of putting your money where your mouth is, and that should equal more meaningful interconnections. So here, again, you're using your bond point to create that unique referral link, and I'm saying Sending it to my friend Liam, who arrives at the job description and opportunity with all the same information I had access to, but this time he will go through the full onboarding. Now, while he's going through the full onboarding to apply the job, he is creating a Bondex profile that will then also match the mobile app, including his preferences, location, what salary he wants to make, the skill sets that he has. In this case, this is somewhat technical, so it would be more on the coding side. And then any questions that the company wants to ask, maybe they have some visa requirements, some examples uh, or extra bits that they want to ask about. If they're web3 native or not and submit their application and the, the idea is once you submit the application we want you to download the app and get you know basically unlock your points that you've unlocked by making an application but here would be your dashboard as a user so you can see what stage that you're in how many jobs you've applied to your bond points and the next view i'm going to show you is what happens when you are a recruiter so recruiter adds a new level of complexity the beauty of it is why is this more sticky and engaging than a traditional platform because you're not just playing one role you're not just the talent trying to look for a job and then you leave the platform you're not just the recruiter constantly doing matchmaking when you're not 
just the employer that gets a job uh, or get hire someone and then forgets about it. You can play multiple roles at once in this talent network, making it way more engaging, giving you way more opportunities and democratizing them. So here, once you sign up as a recruiter, you get a recruiter score on top of your bond points and you have badges that you can earn, for example, in this case, a Bondex top recruiter. So this would be actually the same position that he submitted Liam for. This would be his fully completed profile that he's gone through the process of the onboarding for. And this is what I kind of find really cool is that it's a very opaque industry for the first time. You're going to have basically a Yelp for recruiters. You're actually going to get a recruiter score based on hard performance data that's going to showcase how good you are at this matchmaking. Another thing to note is that in the timeline here, when they apply, we actually do the screening. We do very tough screening. We do this with automation as well as manual human component. The bulk of it is done via automation. We use basically a wrapper built on top of an open AI that's your natural language processing method that's keyword matching between a resume and a job description and kicks out most of the people that were unsuitable for the job. Then our talent operations team, which is essentially an internal um, hybrid recruiting firm, um, does a quality assurance check and shortlist the last batch of candidates, talks to them, make sure they're engaged qualified candidates. So from the as applied, we'll go for screening and the company will only get it when it's ready to review. And just to finalize the demo real quick, I will go straight to this part, which is a company dashboard just for you guys to see. Number one, we're also keeping them on their feet and accountable. We're measuring how fast they're getting back to everyone, how tight they're keeping their, basically their hiring uh, and their recruitment processes to incentivize good behaviors, right? And good engagement. The idea is that we want more velocity and better interactions across all three sides of the marketplace, recruiters, employers, and the talent. But just for you, know, for you to know, when they look at this, by the time that they get these four candidates, maybe they've had four people, four, sorry, 200 people applying. That's what we've seen on average. And they would get four candidates per week ranked and rated by Bondex. So that's it. That's us in a nutshell. And what I would say is whether you're just looking to network and be part of the Web3 professional landscape, we will be including a lot more features um, and tools to everything. Whether you're looking for a job, whether you have friends that want to join the Web3 um, kind of revolution um, as a professional, you know, come to the platform, come to the web platform, sign up as a recruiter, download the app um, and join us in the Bondex talent revolution. Thank you. And I'll stop sharing my screen now and I'll open it up to Q&A. Awesome. So great. Thank you so much. So I, I already saw this, this presentation in the past and uh, yeah, I, I, I always found crazy how much uh, the hiring platform, like the Web2 traditional platform uh, take or can pay or like these amounts are crazy. And it's exciting to see that we are able to do and to give back to the community and to the users. So really, really exciting.